in showing you how to calculate if you're having a 20 20 22 day 20 22 day cycle how to get your safe days fatal days unsafe days then i also give you the disadvantages of having such a 22 day cycle okay so let's get started one we're going to start with one of the is one of the things that you really want first to do as you determine safe days fatal days and safe days so you're going to look at what you have to determine the ovulation date okay so ovulation date you get the length of the cycle for this scenario it's a 22 day cycle so you get 22 minus the length of the luteal phase now the menstrual cycle has two phases the follicular phase and the luteal phase now the luteal phase is always a constant of 14 days so for the 2 day cycle you're going to get 22 minus 14 so when you get 22 minus 14 you get that's 8 okay so a the eighth day of the 22 day cycle is the ovulation date okay so that means when you come to your this x-axis here you can see this eighth day this eighth day is the ovulation day okay so another thing to put into consideration is that once you ovulate the ovum or the egg is viable for 24 hours okay so if you want to if you want to maximize the chances of conception you really have to make sure that you maximize intercourse around this ovulation date probably a day before the eighth day and the day the eighth day throughout okay so another thing is that another thing is that if you really want to avoid pregnancy this is the best time you should avoid you should avoid intercourse because there are high chances of conceiving okay now i want you to remember another thing is that another thing is that once you have intercourse okay once you have intercourse a sperm is viable for up to five days okay that is what research has shown right now so to get to determine the unsafe days where you're likely to conceive using having this 22 day cycle get your age the ovulation date at the five okay you get 13 and then get your age the ovulation date again subtract the five you find that you have a three so that means from the 13th day of your cycle which is here okay up to the third day of your cycle which is here right so these are the unsafe so these are the unsafe days if you don't want to conceive however if you want to conceive you can take you can take these days into consideration so that you have what they call fertilization okay these are the unsafe these are the unsafe days within this range okay please just make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel if you're a fan of these videos okay so as remaining days of the cycle above greater than 13 onwards okay up to the 22nd day cycle second day of the cycle these these ones okay and this side those are the safe days okay so these are the safe days of the so these are the safe days of the cycle okay so if these are the safe days of the cycle one of one of the problems with having such a 22 day cycle you notice that the the difference there's a very small gap usually remember the first day is your the first day of your menstrual cycle is the first day you bleed now if this this first day this one probably you're bleeding for three days probably day one day two day three so you notice that there's a small there's, there's a small margin between the last day probably the 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 last day of your bleeding within a cycle and the ovulation date so in this scenario if you immediately there's a risk of conceiving immediately if you have intercourse after your bleeding so there's a small margin between your ovulation date and the last day of your bleeding you notice that the ovulation date is around the eighth date the eighth day of the cycle so imagine imagine you finish your bleeding around the fifth day and you know from the fifth day up to the eighth day you notice that you're already in the unsafe window okay so 
that is one of the problems of having such a short cycle because there's a small margin there's a small so it tends to be very very tough okay so one of the things that you, you may not directly use this method to prevent pregnancy you want to make sure you use other methods such as you know the emergency contraceptive pills so that you know you prevent pregnancy if you don't want to conceive okay so that's the video guys please if you pick up in this video hit the subscribe button and you know let me know down in the comment section if you have any comments see you next time